My name is uh, my name is Jibran Naveed and people know me by the name of Poeto Photography on Instagram. I make content that's based on reality, that's based on truth. And most of the people find it cringe because it hits them. I make different kinds of videos and uh, my genre is based on realities. It's based on our day-to-day -day living, how we live life. I have a habit, I, uh, I observe. I observe every single thing, what's going around us. And because of that, I know what I know. So, I made a lot of videos and a lot of them got unnoticed, a lot of them got noticed, out of which I would want to talk about two very particular videos of mine. One was regarding motherhood and the other one was regarding the makeup. Now, if we talk about makeup, I already know that a vast number of crowd, female crowd, is involved uh, in makeup. They like to make up. And if I go by that method, since I know that people like makeup, I can say that I can promote it to, a, to an ex extent that I'll be accepted in the society. But that's not my belief. As an individual, I believe that makeup is a scam. I repeat, I'm again saying it, it's a scam. But what I see around is most of the social media influencers influenza bula raha hu unko influencer nahi bula raha because to me it's more like a disease these days they speak about those things jo ek janta sunna chahti hai for instance when i made a video on uh, makeup i already knew that it is going to offend a lot of female folks and luckily Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, it did offend a lot because it's the truth, it is a scam. By the way, I could have said that makeup is a good thing, it's a part of our daily life. We can use makeup just like we eat, just like we go out, we uh, can make sure that makeup is a part of our living. But that's not me, that's not my belief. I would be saying such things in order to gain crowd, in order to, you know, be in their good books. That's, that's what most of the social media influencers are doing. They're not saying you, they're not telling you those, those things you need to hear. They're telling you those things that, they, that can benefit them. For example, I, like I said, if I, if I would say makeup is an amazing thing, you know, you should go and you should do it. Everybody will love me. You know, this guy is amazing. He talks sense. But at the same time, that's not me. So I need to be, I need to be honest to myself. And then, on, only then I can be honest to other people around me. And I think that is the definition of being an influencer. You need to be honest to yourself and then you need to be honest to your people. Otherwise, if you don't have a stand, there's no stand. You just go with the flow. You just see what audience demands and you speak and deliver on the basis of their needs. Then you're not an influencer. You don't have a stand. Where is your stand? Who are you? You're not an influencer in my eyes and in my opinion. It started somewhere. Someone made a tattoo and then someone else saw it, got inspired. Hey, bro, that looks cool. I want to do the same thing. And he did the same thing. And within a night, overnight, it just became trend. I'm not saying only tattoo became a trend. I'm saying how a trend becomes a if trend. If you're following trend, that just takes away your ability to think. I think that makes you dumb because you think that everybody is doing it. Chalo, I do it. You know, that becomes the right thing for you. But you never question, you never take that break, you never, you know, analyze, you never ask yourself, is it the right thing to do? But no, 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 uh, my friends have done it, he has done it, she has done it, everybody has done it, it's a good thing to do, I'll also do it. Now this is trend playing with your head. It doesn't matter if a uh, thousand people are doing it and you believe that it's not right. I think you should take your stand. I think you should listen to yourself because if you think it's not right, that thing is not right for you. We see, we often uh, open our Instagram and we see that people are doing the same thing. For example, if we talk about reels, uh, reel, uh, the idea of reels, you will see that every second guy will uh, do the same exact thing as every second guy is doing. There's no uh, change, you know, they, they, they just blindly follow it. And I think, I think uh, then who are you as an individual? If you're following what others are following, what do you follow? What is your stand? So I think trends make you dumb and nothing else. If you are somebody and uh, you are against trends and you think you have a say, you have a strong opinion about anything in life, not just trends, I think you need to speak up. 
I need, I think the, the best thing is to reach out to your people, reach out to your audience. I keh raha hu tum raat aur raat ek aisa platform tumhare liye ban jayega ki tum karoron logon ko inspire kar do. You know you need to start somewhere. I also started somewhere. I never thought that I'll make videos. Never. I was never into videos. I was I was mostly into photography, the idea of photography because I really liked photography and I thought that this is a thing for me and I continue doing that. But if you ask me, I hold a strong opinion about everything and I believe in my opinions more than that. I believe in what I say. I don't have to I don't have to feel bad like sab kar rahe ye main nahi karu. I I feel I feel left out, but at the same time I know whatever my belief is, it is there and it can affect other people's mind. So if you are somebody who's watching this video and you are different than others and you think you can reach out to people and you think you can change their perceptions towards things i think you should do that and that i think that can somehow control these trends and that can somehow bring more sense to people because they will listen to you and then they'll be like oh yeah he's right otherwise kyunki bolne wala koi nahi hai you know everybody is following one thing bolne wala koi nahi hai so just do it let's just do it it's a, it's the right thing to do but when there are people like me you know i, I speak people get offended because I tell them what nobody tells them. No, I'm not an ulama. I don't know. I don't have much knowledge about Islam even for that matter. But whatever I speak it automatically collides with Islam because I try to eradicate social evils. I talk about social evils. So, uh, when somebody tries to correct you, somebody tries to reach out to you, somebody tries to give his or her opinions to you, you have to respect that. You cannot say who the hell are you? Go away, get lost. Tujhe kaun bol raha hai? Tujhe teri opinion kisne mange? That's rude. You can listen to him. You can just uh, you know research about it. You know nowadays everything is readily available. This phone, I can just type things and everything will be at my display. You know, ये पुराना जमाना नहीं है कि हमें कोई मौलवी साहब ही चाहिए चीजें बोलने के लिए. You can access everything, right? So I think. So I think. Uh, <laughs> candid. There's a man looking at me and this is what I like about the video. Videos should be candid. And there's a dog on my right and the man is throwing a stone at this dog and that is not right. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that, uncle. <laughs> yeah. This is again something very sad because people throw stones, you know. Patthar marne wale patthar marte. Khair. The thing is, uh, you should listen to people if they are advising you because if somebody who is older than you, he knows much more than you. Obviously, if you're just 20 years old and a man who is 30 or 40, he has seen much more than you. But today's youth and today's influencers are teaching you to be intolerant, to be impatient. You know, koi kuch bolta hai baad mein jaye. Koi kuch kisi ki mat suno. Mat suno kisi ki. Thik hai. Apni suno. Lekin dusre ki opinion ko bhi. You know, you 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 need to respect dusre ki opinions ko bhi. I think I think that's the way to go ahead. If you are, if you want to live peacefully in a society, you need to consider other people's opinions too, and you need to see what is right and what is wrong. The first thing is uh, it, your culture starts from home. It starts from your family. It starts from your mom. It starts from your dad. They can inculcate those things in, into a baby. When a baby is born, you, you remember I made a video on motherhood. A lot of people went gaga, eh, what is this, what is he speaking about, why, why, why motherhood, why, why a mom uh, should choose her career over her kid and all that. Because I believe that if you're a mother, I believe that if you're a mother, I think your prime focus should be on motherhood because that's when hell of a job. What makes you think that motherhood is 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 not a thing. Eh, no, 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 I need a career. It's bigger than that. You know, you are uh, bringing up a child and bringing up a child is one hell of a job. It's better than your career. I'm not saying don't go out and don't work. I'm not, I'm not, when I talk about, okay. When I talk about feminism, I don't say that a woman shouldn't work. I talk about most of the hypocrisies of a feminist, like they want equality as per their convenience. They want equality in this. They don't want equality in that. But that doesn't work like that. Equality means equality. You, you, can't, uh, you, can't, uh, you can't say that my boss is an amazing guy and then when you come home, you start uh, you know, abusing your uh, husband. You are, you are, you're cool with your boss because he's your boss because he's paying you, uh, giving you money and you're, you're cool with him and you're respectful towards him. But when you're home, your husbands ask you, babes, where's my... 
uh, shirt and you say, eh, ne arga saan paane. You know, you become rude. Uh, that is what I'm against. You need to be equal. If you are uh, respectful to the person, you don't even know. Uh, why are you disrespecting your uh, husband? And there are so many other hypocrisies uh, that are led by feminists and these feminist narratives. Let's not go to the feminism. Uh, Kashmiri culture is very simple. Okay, it's very pure. And I think when uh, these uh, today's, uh, you know, the, the generation boys and girls, they, they access internet and they come across different cultures. I think they don't like simplicity. Nowadays, simplicity is not the best policy. Just, just have a look at your home. Just have a look at your grand, uh, grandparents. How simple is their life? How simple are they? Their, their philosophies are very simple. But now everything has become complex because other people are doing it. You know, other cultures, they have, we have differences. And our culture teaches us to be simple. And think, I think simplicity is the, is the best policy. I think you should follow simplicity. Social media, you know, most, um, I, I've been using social media from last uh, five years. And most of the times I've seen people uploading the good side of life. They don't show their dark sides. Like there is always the good and the bad and I think most of the people display the good side of the life. Now, for example, if I'm a layman and I'm watching someone's content and I'm seeing, oh, this girl, she was in, she was in London last night, okay, and next month she was in um, Canada and I am not going anywhere, you know, that that woman just displayed the good side of her life. She has not displayed what happened in the next 29 days. That is not there because most of the people are displaying bad, sorry, the good side of their life. Now, it has started affecting other people's mental health because they, you know, they compare. There's a comparison, you know. I will start comparing to somebody else, like somebody else uh, is living a very lavish life and I'm not, found, I'm not doing that great because sabke paas paisa nahi hota hai. And I, I'll uh, constantly, uh, I'll, I'll, compare myself with that person and uh, somewhere somewhere it will affect my mental health so uh, th the main reason of uh, your mental health degrading is because of the instant comparison that you do with other people you have to be content you have to be really uh, happy you have to be very uh, satisfied with what you have you don't have to come uh, you know you don't have to compare because i'll tell you one thing there is a lot of things going on in everybody's life you know it's just people like me i i choose to show the dark side of the life more than the happy you know the the bright side of the life because i believe that i need to connect to people on the darker side because i think sab acche bolne wale to sabhi hai achhi life dikhane wale to sabhi acha you know my lifestyle is good wo dikhane wale sab hai lekin this side is not that uh, you know it's not that visible on social media so i make sure i show people the other side because then it will be peaceful for them because they can relate uh, ye to iske sath bhi hua ye mere sath bhi hua it's fine so you don't have to compare yourself with any anyone else around you and you have to be content with what you have and make peace with it there is a thing uh, about uh, these mental health uh, wannabe experts like every second guy is a mental expert these days you know and one very really, uh, funny thing that i want to share is i see how people troll each other how people make fun of each other and how the same people the very next morning the same people are talking about mental health I mean, do you understand me? I, uh, for example, I was making fun of somebody and, and the next morning I'll be saying Mental health is a serious issue, my friend. You know, it is a serious thing. It has taken a toll on our community. Last night I was trolling somebody. So, you don't have to really consult these wannabe mental health experts. There's a doctor available for that. I am not a mental health expert myself. I don't know much about it, but uh, I can show you ways how to be at peace. And I, one of which was to be content with what you have been given. If you can breathe, if you can eat, if you have a shelter, if you wear clothes, if you can drink clean water, if you have food, that's enough. And if you're healthy, what else do you need? Why do you want to, uh, you know, compare your life with others? If you have these things, these are the basic things and these are the most important and crucial things for your life. And if you have them, you're blessed. And that is enough of a reason to make you feel at peace. Why do you need a Lamborghini all the time? You know, people are so much fond of... It's not that having a Lamborghini is a bad thing. You can have it, but losing your peace for it is not worth it.